Welcome to the Damien Blue Show. This is Comic Book and King of Pop Talk, Episode 5. Happy early Batman Day 2018, guys. Okay, so what you're looking at here is this is the official uh, Batman Day comic that's supposed to come out on Batman Day, but I snagged one early. It's the Thursday before Batman Day, Batman Day being this coming Saturday. So we're going to do what we do and we're going to look inside it and you're going to see all the great stuff in it. This is really issue one of White Knight with an added bonus. I'm going to I'm gonna sneak to the ending to show you guys what, what, what else they include here. Check it out. Batman Damned. We're going to get into it. But this is an exclusive first look sneak peek at Batman Damned and also Batman White Knight. This is one of the most compelling stories um, this past year to come out. Um, this is this is the variant cover, I believe. Um, I have all of them now, but it's really a great read. Um, it's, it's a really good Batman story. Um, it's notable because when it came out, uh, especially when issue one came out, uh, Joker is identified as being Jack Napier, which we all know from the 1989 Batman movie. But it, this was the first comic to really do that. And even though it's not set in the like standard DC universe, which we're currently doing, like the one, uh, like Tom King's Batman and all that, it's still really interesting that... Uh, they went with Jack Napier as the Joker for this. So this is really Sean Murphy's baby. Um, he had some assistance um, from Matt Hollingsworth, but really this is Sean Murphy's baby and it is incredible. Um, so let's waste no time. Let's get into, we're gonna be looking at the Batman Day issue just because I want to point out some stuff special just to this one. The only thing I wanna say before with the original one is the only real difference is there's a glossy feel to the cover, whereas the Batman Day one that you guys will get for free, which is pretty cool, on Batman Day at your comic book shops, um, is that um, it doesn't have this tribute to one line here. So I just wanted to point this out. It's really sad we lost him. He was a talented writer. He wrote everything from Batman um, to even, he wrote a really great Dick Tracy uh uh, prequel to the film which was incredible um, I loved it and if you guys have a chance to check those out we might even review them sometime on the show it was just incredible and his Batman stuff is some of the best so um, you know Wolverine everything man this guy is a legend and it's so sad he's gone but okay anyways here we are Batman Day White Knight special edition free guys pick this up this Saturday when you get a chance to after we go into it for our early sneak peek, I think you'll see why you'll want it. Okay, here we go. Okay, so these Batman's pure silver foil things, these are exclusive to Batman Day 2018 as well. So you can order them, okay, or ask your local store. They look pretty cool. Um, if, if that's your thing, feel free. Okay, here we go. Arkham Asylum. There's the Batmobile. Okay, and here's the people that brought you this comic. Again, it's nice to see Batman created by Bill uh, Bob Kane with Bill Finger. Really great to see uh, Mr. Finger get his due credit. Okay, so there's the Batmobile. Okay, right this way, sir. I know my way around. How is he? And you know, you're expecting the normal, like you know, you saw the Batmobile. So, but then you see Batman chained up. It's been quiet, hasn't said a word, Mr. Jo Mr. Napier. And there you go. Batman, I need your help. See, look at this, guys. Like, immediately you know this is kind of an Elseworlds thing, but man, it's enchanting. Like, it just grabs you right away. I mean, just going back to this first page here, I mean, what more do you need? You see the Batmobile standing outside Arkham Asylum? This is like, this is fan service at the max, guys. Like, if you wanted a hook, this is your first track on the album. This is your everything as far as Batman fans are concerned. This is all you need. It's like, 
I when I first read this, I was like, man, I am game for this story, you know? Okay. And like we talked about earlier, he called him Mr. Napier. Okay, so here it is. One year ago, you see um, Joker running away. Um, and I'm not going to do a blow by blow here, but what's interesting is um, you really get a sense that as I was reading this, my thought was, man, this is really set in an animated series just because there's a lot of stuff that really spoke to that. I could hear Mark Hamill's Joker saying every line he says, um, like, let's do a little crowd work, you know, you know, get the audience involved. And it's just utter, utter mayhem. And here he goes. Ooh, I like the improv mullet wing. You know, it's like a dig at Nightwing. And, um, you know, like, it just really feels like if there was ever something that could be set in the world of Batman the Animated Series, this comic would be a great uh, continuation of that. So that, that gets my vote. Even though Jack Napier does relate back to Batman 89, um, I think the Animated Series did enough homage to the 89 film that it's like it, it would be fitting to fill it in there okay so this is when it gets good guys there's batman here joker he finally caught up with him congrats on another great performance partner great leap over gotham fairy you know what might be cool i i can't make any promises but the guy who uh voiced joker in the influence films damian blue company uh project the flash crossover i wonder if maybe he could read some of these lines as mark hamill for uh you know just for chuckles because i mean this voice to me just sounds like mark hamill and this was one of the most iconic stories of the year you know if not about batman in general in a long time guys so really cool okay anyways um but now um let me skip down here real quick just run back okay so you see uh the guard says ran into me i was just trying to tell him which entrance joker used you know he's talking about batman and so you're like, oh, man, this is an old man Batman already. Like he's hardened, you know, like, you know, the Dark Knight Returns or like Ben Affleck's, you know, Batfleck, you know, just kind of like, I don't, you know, I don't care about people just, you know, bottom line here. But we'll keep going because things aren't always as they appear. Um, so here's Joker kind of giving him a, a run in and he says, you know, this isn't a performance, Joker. Um and Joker says, and I was a little surprised at the ending, knocking the security guard out of the way. It's hard to help you if you're going to break character. Help me. And then he, it's just this conversation. Why, sure. By always being there to challenge you, raising the stakes, making you stronger each time. That's what makes our relationship so special. I'm your greatest villain because I'm your biggest fan. There is no relationship. Okay, so this reminded me not only of the animated series, but also of Lego Batman. Because the Lego Batman film, that it reminds me of that scene with Joker crying, you know, and him being like, you know, that's what this reminded me of a little bit. And I mean that with all due compliments. And like any couple, we're supposed to fight, you know? So they're looking on, they're fighting. We're a team, Bats, admit it. That's our dynamic. All that's missing is the makeup sex. I don't expect you to acknowledge it. You are, after all, the distancer. I'm the over, overly complicated one. Now, here's Batman's line. You only pretend we're a team because it gives you purpose and makes you feel special. But your ego won't let, won't let you see the truth. And what's that? You don't matter. Not to me. Not to Gotham. Not to anyone. Look at that image of Batman. Holy cow. Okay, so... Ouch, cards on the table, huh? Is this the part where we get to be completely honest with, you, with each other? Because I don't have to hold back. You're not holding back. You've got nothing left. After all these years, you still have no idea what I'm capable of. I could have beaten you at any point, turned the city completely against you whenever I wanted. But I chose to hold back, giving you only what you could handle. Because I didn't want to wreck what we had. Admit it, I gave you Gotham City. This corrupt war zone is the home we created together. The only reason, reason Gotham allows you to exist is because they're so terrified of me. Admit it. Finished. 
I'm the only one who really knows you, Batman. Your vigilantism isn't about justice, it's about control. Fixing the city is your pathetic way of salvaging the broken bits. But you're too stupid to see that it hasn't worked. Crime has become your therapy and Gotham your victim. You've dragged me into your perpetual Halloween. Enough! You know, and it's just so... Admit it, you can't even build a family because the very thought of one terrifies you. How many innocent children will you ruin with your nightmare? Shut up. Is that Nightwing or Robin? I've lost track because they keep disappearing. Enough. Even Gordon is fed up, watching his men turned into cannon fodder on the front lines of a war they didn't ask for. It's all falling apart and you're incapable of stopping. Admit it. You know, and you just... <clears throat> Face it. You're the, great, the greatest villain. In Gotham City. Dun dun dun. Big surprise what he's going to say is you. You know. Stop talking. Okay so. He hands him some pills. And he says if I. Can get better. I can get this city back on track. Finally show you that you need me. And Batman says fine. And he gives him the pills. Which is kind of surprising. And they're all looking on, you know. And she's like, Bruce, don't, you know. But he does it. And, and Joker is there, you know. And my first thought when I was reading it was, okay, well, he can't overdose because that would defeat kind of what was going on here. So it's just interesting. Okay, so here we have the media, the talking heads. If you watch my Spawn 1 review, um, it's always interesting when they portray the media in comic books. But... Um, this does a really good job. It's real kind of modern take, um, a lot of stuff. And it's cool because it says right here, tonight we're discussing the Batgate scandal. You can just totally see that being a thing. Stunning footage of Batman's assault on the Joker gone viral. So, I mean, this just screams of modern times, which is great because it's really nice to see a timeless character like Batman being put in a modern time. Okay, so anyways... Obviously, again, this leads to the Batman the Animated Series stuff again because there's Bullock. Batman's a maniac. Glad people are finally starting to see it, you know? And it's like you really get a sense of the animated series all over again, you know? <sighs> Bullock, you know, lecturing Gordon on, like, that he wanted to put an end to working with Batman a long time ago. It's just such a great book. Okay, so... Um, And then they, they ask him, you know, um, is he going to be okay? Probably. Napier's one tough son of a bitch. But I'll be honest. He's not the one I'm worried about. You know, and it's like, he it's like he's not worried about Jack Napier. He's worried about, you know who. And check this out. Look at this. Batman the Animated Series, guys, right there. 89 movie homage, right there. This is fan service galore. Guys, look, more animated series stuff. I tell you what, man. As a Batman fan, this room is really cool. But beyond that, it's this book is total fan service. If you like Batman, you should have already read this, honestly. But if you haven't, Batman Day, this is the perfect book for the year for you. Okay, so now we're going to come to this part where if you don't want this book, this, this issue and the rest of the story spoiled for you, stop reading. Wait till Saturday, Batman Day, and go pick up your exclusive right now. Okay? Because this story on its own right now should have given you enough mm, to want to go get it. But if it hasn't, or let's be honest, it has. But if you want to know more, I'm going to spoil it. All right, guys. Spoiler time. Warning is over. So here we go. How has gotten into you, Batman? You're completely out of control little louder dick you know and it's like you can tell he's tormented but he's ignoring them and they it's the, the choice of words are ironic please let us in so he literally does he lets them in please come with me and I love this line here do you own any buildings without secret passageways you know and look at this this is cool too you see Bruce right here but look at the silhouette who's that look like the little thing sticking up there 
Man, you can't hide who you really are, can you? Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Oh, my God. Alfred. What's the matter with him? He's dying. How? I don't know. And y you really get a sense that, A, this reminds me of, of the movie Batman and Robin. As much as that movie was, you know, kicked around and, and it had its problems. I'm not saying it didn't. But I think a lot of people agree, especially now, looking back, the Bruce Wayne and Alfred stuff was the most compelling stuff of the film. And actually good stuff. And this makes sense, too. It makes sense why Batman would kind of go over the edge. I was hoping I could fix it so you wouldn't see him like this. You know, and it's just like, it all makes sense now. It's not all about, you know, the Joker, but, you know, it makes sense. So, here we have, you know, more just this is wrong. Here's some more fan service. Dr. Leslie Tompkins is here to see you, sir. Um... She comes in. Jack Napier's made a full recovery, sir. It took some plastic surgery and a lot of stitches, but physically he's going to be fine. Thank God. Now maybe he won't sue us. Physically he's healed, but I'm extremely worried about his mental condition. Okay. He's the Joker. He's a hundred percent mental condition. What? Not anymore. No more laughter. No more smile. No more makeup. No more Joker. Really. We're not sure what those pills were, but they seem to have cured whatever condition, condition Joker had. You can't fake a CAT scan or the IQ test. He's scoring well beyond the levels of genius. What's he work, working on what, you know? His legal case. It looks like he's going to file charges against the GCPD, Batman, and Gotham City. And given his newfound mental capacity, I think you need to be worried. And there he is, slaving away, guys. Again, this is setting up a really great story. I can't kiss this story's butt enough. Okay, so there's a lot of moral stuff going on here, ethical stuff, which, you know, if, if the story's compelling to you, I'm not going to read it panel for panel here, but um, look at Bullock's reaction there. Like, this stuff is just, this is great stuff, you know, and I'm, I'm not trying to do the hard sell here. I'm just telling you when a comic's great it's exciting to read something that's great you know and now joker really lays into him look at all the stuff that he's I'm, I'm holding my camera here so you guys can get a good look at it but this is what batman's up against this is what this is what this is something new this isn't just you know bank robberies or somebody's being kidnapped not that, that stuff's not interesting but this is a new ball game so I'll leave it with this because this is where the first issue ends. And if this doesn't hook you, man, up till now, you know, you've got Alfred dying. The, the twist of, you know, everything you saw in the intro and now and the ethical stuff, which is fascinating. You know, everything, you know, Batman and Bruce Wayne are dealing with. But then you got this. I love Gotham. and It's time I paid her back for the debt owed by the Joker. The city deserves better than you, better than the Joker, and better than the Dark Knight. So I'm going to be her White Knight. And there you go. That's, you know, obviously a play on the title, but also a great way to conclude a first issue if I've ever seen one. Okay, so if you're wanting to know, when can I read issue two? You know, I'd say first, this Saturday, go pick up this for free, okay? But also... Um, you can you can probably go find the issues honestly at your you know local comic book shop or online, but if you want to wait for like a collected edition, it'll be out just in time for Halloween next month, guys. So in October, this will be coming your way, courtesy of the all new DC Black Label, um, and they're really um, trying to push that imprint, which is neat because it'll be stories outside of the norm. Uh, just Google DC Black Label and you'll see um, it's not just this Sean Murphy story. It's it's going to be a whole line of stuff, which is really cool. Okay, so if this isn't enough for this uh, issue being cool, check out what we also get. Here's the preview, the sneak peek of Batman Damned. Okay, pretty cool stuff here. So it's by Brian Azarello. 
Um, did Batman finally kill the Joker? Just look at this art, guys. So this is going to be a three-issue oversized prestige format limited series. For my money, I'm going to wait for this to get you know pushed in one just because I'm not into collecting oversized stuff like this. But this story is going to be good. You can just tell. Um, I've already flipped through this stuff. but And you can probably find some of this stuff online. But it's just fascinating to see, you know, it's language used, it's art. Look at this art, man. Like, that's incredible. Incredible stuff to look at. Um, that's the tricky part with the Almighty involved. It's a bit of a... Well, now we have a story. One I'm going to try... One I'm going to try to avoid having to tell while I'm telling it. The language used, too, is just top-notch, guys. So, this story, it's a difficult one. I want to influence its outcome, but the lives involved... Their souls are part of ours. Always the worst words could be spoke at me. You need my help. You either are or will be beyond redemption. Not my fault, I tell myself. But lying is a hobby to me. Your original unreliable narrator. Dun dun dun. To be continued in Batman Damned. So even though it, you know, this stuff is coming out this month. Um, if you're a fan of, you know, this art, I'd say check it out. Um, you can get the sneak peek. You can probably look for some of this stuff on Google. But either way, it's fascinating stuff. Um... You know, whether you do what I do and you're going to wait for the, you know, collected stuff or you just want to get it issue by issue for all three issues, that's fine. But either way, it looks like cool stuff. Just look at that, man. You know that's going to be a cool cover. All right, guys. So that pretty much wraps up our uh, Batman Day 2018 special issue. Um, hey, if, uh, when I'm going to go on a Warner Brothers Studio tour, please take me with you. Um, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to break it up just right for the spoilers. So, um, if you didn't want spoilers, hopefully I broke it up just right for you. Okay, guys, happy Batman day. Have a great weekend. Um, oh, one more thing. I got this in honor of Batman day too, a little early, but he's pretty cool. It's the unmasked, uh, Batman pop. I picked him up. He's pretty cool. Anyways, um, like I was saying, happy Batman day, 2018, uh, Go to a comic book shop, uh, pick this up. Just go support comic book shops in general. Um, but also, um, you know, read The White Knight. It's a really great story. Um, and I'll see you guys next week because we'll be back to do... Uh, I'll be back to do um, the Spawn issue number two. And we'll conclude the Michael Jackson GQ article. So I'll see you guys next week. And uh, talk to you later. Bye.